Hi guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks. If you read the title, you know what we're getting into. But before we do, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to the most recent Cash App giveaway recipient. So if you see your Cash App name come across the screen, then just know that I already sent you your money. And again, thank you for participating. For those of you guys who have not won anything yet, Keep in mind that I will be doing this for the rest of the month of June. I will continue to pick randomly. All you have to do is on each one of my videos, comment with your cash app, hashtag notification gang with a brown heart emoji, and I will pick randomly from the individuals that do that. I will not pick someone from every single video, so don't expect if I put out um, three videos today, three tomorrow, that there's going to be six winners between today and tomorrow, no. I will be picking randomly, and I will be kind of looking for a trend in the people that are commenting the most and how soon those individuals are commenting. So just to kind of give you guys a heads up, that's what I'm looking for. Also, don't forget that when you drop your hashtag, make sure it is correct because I am just going to go in, send the funds, and then I will announce that winner um, on you know the following video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into these topics. So let's go ahead and start with the whole Meg and Kelsey situation today, okay? Listen, the girls were fighting, the girls were fighting. And I've kind of shied away from this whole topic because I'm really on the fence about the whole thing. And I'll tell you guys why. So for those of you guys who don't know what's going on, Meg accused Tory Lanez last year of shooting her in the foot. She had to, you know, go to the doctor. I think she mentioned that she had to have surgery. Well, now they're actually going to trial. And Meg has recently, as recently as her most recent interview, said that she absolutely wants Tori to go to jail. And so there's been a lot of things that have been coming out that's been kind of contradicting, you know, the fact that, you know, did Tori shoot her? What happened? We don't know if Tori shot her for real. Let me say this. Before this even went to trial, people started doubting Meg without any evidence even coming into play. And I'll tell you my theory on that. So this is my theory and what I think took place. So I think that her credibility kind of waned or it kind of started getting lower and lower because of her relationship with Nikki. So I think that what happened was, and you know, hear me out here. I think what happened was Meg wasn't as popular as she was prior to her falling out with Nikki, because everyone knows that, you know, there is a rift between Meg and Nikki after they did their collab. Um, Meg had Nikki featured on the remix for her song. Then, you know, they just kind of shied away from each other. Who knows what happened? I can't even speculate on that, but we do know that there's something happened and they're not cool. Although I don't really think that they were just close like that anyway. I think it was a business move and that's all. But at any rate, I think that right now there is kind of some tension there between the two of them. So Nikki has a huge fan base. And let's be real, for the most part, in my opinion, I think most of Meg's fan base has is a mixture of other huge fan bases. And what I mean by that is I think it's a mixture of the Beehive. Um, it was a mixture of Nikki's fan base, which are the Barbs. So I think it's just it was just kind of a mixture of everyone. And so she lost the Barbs. Um, when her and Nikki fell out. And so anybody who knows the Barb's, if you don't mess with Nikki, they don't mess with you and they will come out and they will tarnish you on any blog there is. I don't care what blog it is. So I think that that's kind of where her credibility started to go down because her likability started to, started to go down before the trial even started, before there was any, any type of contradictory evidence, you know, that was going against anything that she said. So that's what my opinion is on, on that. So with that being said, I think that a lot of people don't want to believe Meg. I think that she's withholding some information, but I think that the fact of the matter is, I think Tori did fire at her. I think that he did shoot at her. Now, whether or not he sh actually shot her in the foot, whether or not, you know, he aimed for her, sh her foot and said, dance B and all of this, who knows? But I do believe that he shot at her. I do believe that this intention was because everybody was just drinking. Meg is a hothead. I'm sure she was popping off. And, you know, 
Tori has little man syndrome. He's a, he's a little tyke. And so, you know, you're not about to be talking to me crazy. He's one of those little thugs, you know? So you're not about to be talking to me crazy. At the end of the day, I don't care how tall I am. I'm still, a, I mean, how you know, how short I am. I'm still a man. It doesn't matter how tall you are, you know? So I think that, you know, he did come at her, you know, with, with a gun. I do. Now, how Kelsey fits into all of this, I do believe Tori. I do believe that he was screwing both of them. So the whole Meg saying that she never had sex with Tori, I, that's cap in my opinion again that's my opinion so fast forward to now and meg and kelsey get into getting into it so megan recently did an interview in which she came out and pretty much stated and i got this directly from the neighborhood she pretty much said that she stopped being friends with kelsey nicole because kelsey met with tori two days after he allegedly shot her she says he offered to invest in kelsey's business and from that day on, she never said anything else about the situation online. So what Meg is insinuating here is that pretty much Tori bought her off. And that's what she's insinuating. So from there, Kelsey came back. And of course, Kelsey did respond. And this is what she had to say. On to the social media games by now. Then I don't know what to tell y'all. But you guys have to pay attention. Like, I knew this was going to happen. This is just the beginning, y'all. I know y'all want me to talk, but this just the beginning so like when it's my turn just know i'm gonna break everything the fuck down okay and then of course meg came back and said the hardest and the realest anybody with any difference to say speak up or shut up so listen my take on it is kelsey listen i don't feel like she's She's um, on the up and up either. I think there's a lot going on here. I think that we'll never get the full truth. I don't care if it's going to going to court or not. We'll never get the full truth on, on what happened. My theory is that um, if you remember, they were at the party. Meg got mad because Tori was, um, he was paying close attention to Kylie Jenner. Kylie was at this party and her and Meg had started kind of kicking it together. So reports were that he was paying close attention to Kylie at the party. And so they were in the pool, they were doing certain things, and Meg wasn't feeling it. Well, when they left, that's when everything popped off. So I think that, you know, Meg was, you know, she was giving it to Tori. She was giving it to him because we we know we've seen that she can, you know, she can go off. And so I think she was giving it to him, and from there, one thing led to another. He probably pulled out on him on her because he's like, listen, I'm not no, I'm not no B. And so he probably pulls out on her. I don't think that he was trying to kill her. I don't think that he was trying to um injure her. I think that it was more of a less, you know, more a less of you're not about to, you know, just be all up in my face. Again, this is my theory. This is all theory. There's no fact um tied to this. And then from there you know, everything else happened. Now, how Kelsey ties in, I think that she found an opening. I think that she's been kind of hating on her friend from the beginning. She says, or she's been feeling some way about her friend from the beginning. I think that she saw an opening. She saw where Meg you know, was losing the uh, sweetheart tag. And so she used that as an opportunity to, to tuck tail and run and turn on her friend. Because if you remember, she also mentioned that she was interested in Tori first and Meg backdoored her. So if you were feeling that way when it happened, you've been feeling that way the whole time you've been kicking it with her and you've just been pushing those feelings down and smiling at her face and pretending like everything is good and on the up and up. And then when this popped off, that was your opportunity to turn your back on her. And so that's what I think happened. I think that all parties involved had something to do with what happened. I think that all parties involved were wrong. We'll just kind of watch and see how everything plays out. But you guys let me know what your opinion is down in the comment section. There are so many theories floating around about this situation. And to be perfectly honest, I'm just really tired of hearing about it. I don't want to hear anything else unless somebody is, is bringing forth facts. You know, bring some receipts, bring some facts, or just give us the verdict already. That's pretty much all I want to hear at this point. I'm tired of hearing all of these bits and pieces of everyone's story or I'm going to release this. I'm going to tell this. Give us some receipts or shut up until the jury renders its verdict. That's where I'm at. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. And we're going to keep things moving on to the next topic. Girl, this is not... This is not his page. You go on his page and you say that shit in his comments. 
I don't want to hear that shit all day. Y'all ask the same shit all day. Bruh. This is not, like, y'all remember that video with her? It was like, this is not Taina's live. Go on Taina page if you want to see Taina. Girl, don't get out here asking about people. So, let's get into Lil Baby's alleged new boo. So, Dior, which is her name, listen, a baby girl loves to go live. <laughs> and so, she was on live recently. She was going back and forth with the 19 or 20 people that were in her live who were asking about Lil Baby. So, first, she made sure she told them that you go over to his page. Baby, go, go do that over there. Don't do that over here. So she was annoyed that people were asking her about little baby, little baby. She has not once denied that that's who she's seeing. She refers to this guy as her boyfriend and she's never denied that it's not little baby. So listen, so recently she also posted on Twitter that my nigga give me an AMG for my birthday. I don't want ish else. That's what she said. So people were speculating. So is Lil Baby the one that's getting her an AMG? Is that who she's talking about? Well, there's no way for us to know or confirm anything until she actually tells us or if Baby says something or if he pops up in one of her lives, which I don't think is going to happen. I think that we all know that it doesn't take much for him to trick off on whoever he's going at the moment or at the time. So I don't think anything is going to... Me personally, I don't think anything is going to come of it usually he kind of keeps his likes his women to be quiet but i think he's allowing her to talk because that is kind of putting it in jada's face i still think that he sh i think he's still salty i think he's still salty to a certain degree that you know jada was probably entertaining people in her dms or entertaining guys in her dms so i think that he's intentionally allowing this girl to kind of speak out more than he would anybody else in the past that's my opinion on it well, she was on live for a little bit, oh, and she also went on to kind of go back and forth with um, fans about, you know, her not needing a guy for anything. Then y'all, I'll be letting y'all have y'all way with the bro talk. Like, please don't do that. I don't need no nigga for nothing. Literally, I don't, I don't need no nigga, nigga for no money. Like, it, it never gave that. It would never give that. Literally. And then can get up and leave today or tomorrow. <laughs> so I go be good. I don't. Um, and then some people thought that she was throwing shots at Jada because there were a few of the people, and of course she only had about 20 people in her life, but there were a few people pretty much calling her, calling her dusty, pretty much saying, so this is who little, little baby's supposed to be talking, talking um, to, no class. So they were just really kind of ragging on her, talking about how she didn't have any class. And this is what she had to say. And girl, y'all talking about no class. I'm not finna get on here and do a fake voice and, and talk slow and slow for y'all, for y'all to think I'm a goody goody or some weird ass shit like that. Like, please shut the fuck up. Y'all know this man today, one person. Every time it's not that person, y'all do weird ass shit. Like, please, like, y'all have to get y'all life. Y'all have to know that people have lives outside of social media. People are different people off of social media. Get y'all weird ass on. Y'all wish y'all wanted me to be an Instagram model or something. That's, that's what y'all be giving me. Like, y'all be pissing me off. So, some people thought that she was making reference or taking jabs or taking shots at Jada. And I would typically say, no, that's, like, really for uh, for a fetch. She was simply defending herself and talking in general since most guys who are in the music industry, most athletes you know they do want the instagram model type so he she was just talking in general but i've been on i've been on a few of this girl's lives and she totally gives me obsessed with jada she that's what she gives me that's my opinion um and so i'm gonna say i think that she was low-key throwing shots at jada that's my opinion on the situation but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section that's gonna be it for this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video.